What's up everyone, Brian Phobos here. We're gonna do a little update on EOS. There's a lot of good things to report. Let's take a look at Blocktivity. I know the prices are getting beat up right now across the board, but that's just gonna put a little bit of hair on your chest. Hold in there, do your best. We got the airdrops coming in like little beautiful snowflakes. So let's take a look at this. EOS has passed Ethereum as far as the amount of transactions in the last 24 hours, which was it as expected? I expect EOS to be in number one position within the next couple months as far as transactions in 24 hour period of time. And um, so here's one of the other interesting things. So Ethereum has almost 40,000 unconfirmed transactions, which that's typical. Um, gas prices are through the roof and all these unconfirmed transactions that are spilling to the next block and the next block and all that kind of stuff. Now EOS is not even at 0.1% utilization and the same thing with these others, Steam 0.11% utilization and BitShares 0.41% utilization. Now the interesting thing to note here is that Steam was typically had the record with 2.5 million transactions in a 24 hour period of time, but BitShares has just shot out of nowhere and done an unreal 5.5 million transactions in a 24 hour period of time. And even just in this last um, 24 hours has done 4.9 million. So I don't know what's going on with BitShares, why there's so much transactional volume right now. Um, hopefully we'll find out in the next couple of days what is going on with that. So let's take a look at this. Another thing to note is that EOS has done a record 592 transactions in a single second transactions per second. So 592, now keep that in mind. Ethereum can do a theoretical 15 transactions per second, and this EOS has already done 592 in one second. There's a lot of activity going on. Obviously we'll see that increase over the next couple months as more dApps and stuff are developed and there's more activity and the user tools continue to be developed. So Dan Larimer, basically said this in a chat and this was out on reddit that um, essentially he has been working on the next iteration of steam and the next iteration of bit shares which will be built on top of eos now he's saying that he is basically 90 percent the way there and he's going to be polishing everything up this week now i don't know that if that's all back end stuff and then other people are going to be working on front end like user interface stuff I'm not really sure on that, but I didn't expect it to be done this quick, but you know, this isn't his first rodeo. And I really feel like Dan can probably type up code faster than I can probably type up an email. So, um, you know, shout out to him. You're really working hard here. So, um, and there were some other interesting little things in here. It's a little hard to read, but that, well, for one, okay, it's saying like BitShares 2.0 for its token. And I don't know if he's talking about, like BitShares is already like 2.0. So I don't know if he means this and that has something to do with that volume or if he means kind of like a 3.0, kind of the next iteration that's just on EOS and has nothing to do with uh, the current BitShares blockchain. That's what I'm assuming. He means kind of a 3.0, but I'm not really sure exactly on that. And then, um, you know, he, he's also going to have, you know, a bit USD, like an next iteration of bit USD, which will be a pegged, a dollar pegged asset. Like we see bit, bit USD that's out on bit shares right now. Um, that's going to be there as well. And then this is kind of interesting right here. It's a little bit small. It says BTS like bit shares 2.0 on EOS is a great idea. DApps can issue tokens and list there too, right? Question mark like an Ether Delta question mark. And that's from Roland. And I'm, I'm assuming that's Roland, Roland P that's like a Steam witness and he's a BitShares witness. I'm just assuming that. And then Dan said, yep. So there would be an exchange like Ether Delta that would be like, let's say like EOS to Karma, you know, an EOS to Karma you know, cross where there's a, there's a market out there. And so all these tokens can be traded out on there and all that stuff like that. And from what I'm all gathering from this, that that'll be iterated into 
the social network that's sort of like a Steam 2.0. Now that's not going to be the name. He's already got a name for it. It's not going to be Steam. You know, and it's, I'm sure this isn't going to be BitShares. Uh, so we'll see with that. But that's that. I wanted to talk about Graymass, which is a wallet for EOS. And I I'd kind of heard some people talking about Graymass. And they recently did an update here three days ago to this point three version and you can have multiple accounts you can do ram trading you can look at the account history and you can do proxy voting in there now you can't create an account but this is what i wanted to do mainly with this is give a shout out to the team the developers um, so this aaron cox he's jesta out on the steam blockchain very well respected community member on the steam blockchain one of the most highly respected um, witnesses on the Steam blockchain. And then also Scott here, which is Anx. He developed the um, Cheetah Bot and they've done a lot of other projects. And it kind of um, kind of talks about some of those other things. So Vessel is a desktop application for the Steam blockchain. It's a, it's a desktop wallet for Steam. So you know, they have experience doing this and they've done a lot of these projects. Here's the Cheetah Bot that helps fight basically plagiarism and stuff like that out on the Steam blockchain. Um, so these guys are very well respected. That's the thing I want to say about that. And um, this tool looks really, really good. Now, I haven't used it yet. I've been doing everything EOS related through the command line, um, partially out of like paranoia and secondly out of a lot of the stuff that i was doing like creating user accounts i was doing it before there was any web interface or there was any kind of application to do it and so kind of to be first you know everything i was doing through the command line and right now i don't really have to do anything i'm just collecting airdrops so i haven't used scatter i haven't used um i haven't used gray mass but I would vouch for it just out of the fact that it's these respected guys from the Steam blockchain that have been on there for the last several years doing a great job over there. Um, so this is definitely something to keep your eye on. Now you can load multiple accounts in there, which is awesome and um, manage your keys and have these multiple accounts in there. So here's the thing. And this is just kind of showing how easy it is to switch back and forth to the different um, wallets. So you just have this drop down menu. You can go through and go to the different accounts and it'll store your keys and all that stuff. And you have this great interface uh, to look at RAM utilization and all the statistics within that same account. You can buy and sell RAM and stuff like that in the individual accounts. Um, so that is super awesome. And there's, you know, other tutorials on buying and selling the RAM. Now, if you, you can't create an account in here yet, but if you look at this, so out on Steemit, their account is gray mass. And you can look at this recent post that was put up three days ago, but one of the main things that, um, you know, they're kind of saying is that in the next iterations, where is this here? Okay, on the horizon, uh, you know, in a next iteration 0.4 version of the wallet, there's going to be account creation in there. And then they're going to have like account permissions in the next one. And then maybe the next version, they're even going to have multi-sig. Um, so definitely have a great, you know, a great utility there for the thing. And, um, you know, they're, they're very active and everything, answering questions and stuff like that. So um that is definitely something to look out for and i think the most exciting thing about this is not only do we have like these desktop applications but we also have you know these web tools as well to do different things and you're going to see more and more of these coming out over time so as far as account create account creation you probably have already seen this tool and i just wanted to add it in here if anybody's newer or um, some of my subscribers that haven't seen some of the other EOS channels that are talking about this kind of stuff. But there's this toolkit dot, it's like Jenner EOS dot IO, and I'll put this link down below. Um, and you have to use Scatter. You can connect Scatter and you can create keys in Scatter. And you're only gonna be putting in public keys into this, but you can create accounts with this. Now, the main thing right now is RAM is pretty expensive right now, so it could cost you, 
you know, 50 or 60 bucks to create an account. Um, you know, a lot of people are just keeping their kind of non-human readable one that they got initially from uh, basically the, you know, the crossover from the ERC-20 tokens um, that they had registered essentially. And they're just kind of sticking with that right now. Um, I was lucky enough to create a lot of accounts basically in the first week to week and a half, you know, through the command line and everything before the RAM prices went kind of out of control and all that stuff like that. Um, here's another way to create an account. And this is kind of an update too. I initially saw this, uh, this tool, um, investing with a purpose is kind of mainly they're focused on EOS related stuff and they had mentioned this tool, but now this Zeos, Zeos.co, there's no fees and they've partnered with Crypto Lions, which is the same group who has the jungle test net and who is operating this, you know, these network monitors and stuff like that. And also has a network monitor for the jungle test net and all that stuff. Um, they've partnered with them so you can create a free account there, but you're going to have to pay for the RAM. So you're still potentially on the hook, you know, between 40 to 60 bucks. RAM prices are all over the, over the place right now. But you can see if um, different usernames are available there and you can potentially purchase one. Um, so that is, and again, you're never going to put any kind of private key in this stuff. You're always going to be only putting a public key in and you know, hopefully like a key pairing that you maybe created through Scatter or created maybe through the JavaScript utility that's on the GitHub page or something like that. Now they do have, they're on Steemit as well, you know, at Crypto Lions, and they do have a how-to of how to use it and they have a video. Um, so you can kind of find out more information on that. And you might want to wait till RAM prices go down, but it's a little bit of a double-edged sword because like, as time goes on, more usernames are going to get soaked up of these 12 letter ones. And, you know, so maybe a username that you wanted could get, could get taken over time. It's going to be harder and harder. We've all seen like Instagram where like people's usernames are so convoluted, you know, just because everything's taken up or you try to register like a Gmail account and you, you can't like figure out one that's not taken. That's eventually how this is going to be too. Now, if you go to EOS Flare, one um, interesting thing is over here they have the, the bidding for the uh, priority domain names or whatever. And this is all the stuff that's under 12 characters. And these have been going for absurd prices, but you have to think of them like domains. So like if you had like, let's say .io or .cn, then you would be able to basically sell everything that was like you know, Brian, you know, Brian.io or, um, you know, EOS.io, you'd be able to sell everything, you know, before this dot, this would be like a domain name. Um, so that's why these prices are like crazy. You know, it's, it's really absurd, but .com and .eos went for like absurd amounts of money. Uh, so don't, there's only one of these being sold basically each day to the top bid. And um, they were talking about maybe changing that here in the future, but I don't know how soon that'll happen. Um, so anyway, that's one of the things. In the next video, I want to show you guys how to create an account through the command line. And, um, you know, your best bet might be to cr create through this stuff and, you know, use Scatter and all that kind of stuff. But I, I know there are some people that want to utilize the command line and go through Clio's and do it the way that I did it initially. So I want to make kind of a separate video for that. But anyway, that is the video for now. And I think that's a lot of exciting things to be said. I know the price is getting brutal and it could go lower guys. Hang in there. Just hold strong. If you can we'll keep getting these airdrops and eventually we're going to see these wallets and more utilities come out and just think if there is the next iteration of steam, coming out very soon, maybe within the next month or two or something. I mean, he's saying he's within a week of getting this thing completed, at least maybe for the back end or whatever. So um, that is exciting news. We'd love to see that and kind of see the governance model on that compared to Steam, what we're used to. So follow me on all social media, at Brian Phobos, 
Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, steam it. See you guys later.